It's a Miranda Mondays, a Miranda Mondays. Today is a rough day. Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Miranda Mondays. I am your host, Miranda Sings. And we got a really special show for you today. Um, of course, one first and foremost, we have celebrity interviews. Um, Obviously, I'm the biggest celebrity of them all, and I'm pretty much interviewing myself every single week when I do this. So, you're welcome for that. But also, I'm interviewing other people. This is the first Miranda Mondays where there's other people, um, celebrities, and other <laughs> fascinating gays on the show. So, save it to for that. And also, of course, we're going to be playing singing games. I'll be singing songs based on your suggestions, and then also... I'm going to be talking about whatever you wish. So let's get started with your questions. Okay, so here we go. First question um, we have is from Pei. And Pei says, I think I'm gay. Um, well, there's only one way to know for sure. And that is you can go to Target. I heard recently that Target is making people gay. So all you have to do is go there and look at the clothes. And I guess they have clothes that make you gay or something is what people are saying so I always didn't know that you something like could just like make you gay like that but I guess it can so if you're thinking about becoming a gay you can just go to Target and um, put on one of their clothes that they have um, the rainbows if they have a rainbow on a shirt it can make you gay that's why I saw some um, middle-aged women talking about that so I don't know. They seemed upset. So maybe it just wasn't working when they tried them on or something like that. Or I don't know. But anyways, you can always just go target and you'll know for sure then after that. So very exciting news. All right. Um, Christian says, can you dance? Yes, of course I can dance. Um, but since I have a microphone um, and my microphone's by my mouth, I'm going to move the camera down. We will film my feet. I'll put the microphone by my feet so you can hear it and see my dance moves. I'll just do a few of my best dance moves for you. So here, enjoy this. Okay, guys. So um, I'm going to just put the microphone down so you guys can hear my feet movements as I do some of my most iconic dance moves. Here we go. Heaven huh, said, opinion on jorts. Well, um, you know what? I am, I'm, I can only assume what jorts means. Um, I think it could only mean one thing. And so in that case, I would say I love jorts because, you know, it would, I'm assuming it's a wart, which are, warts can be fun. But the J makes me assume you're saying like a jiggly wart. And a jiggly wart could be a blast. I never had one. Mine are usually the crusty kind or hard kind. And while a crusty hard one can be fun, jiggly is got to be better. So hopefully, I didn't even know you could get a jiggly wart, um, but perhaps I'll get one soon. That'll be very fun, Heaven. You look like the type of person who's probably had a lot of jiggly warts, so I'm very jealous of you. Um, all right, next question. XXBVXX says, also, how do you get to Kytus at your shows? Okay, first of all, I'm not spreading any kind of tachitis or any other diseases at my shows. Um, we do a social distance meet and greet, so we're not spreading any kind of any kind of virus of any sort, especially tachitis. Um, sounds awful, but I'm not spreading any germs or viruses. And honestly, I don't want your germs um, because I don't know how many of you guys have you know, COVID or um, strep throat or tachitis or laryngitis or any of the itises. I don't want that from you, which is why we do social distance and why I'm like, do not touch me. In fact, lots of times I say, don't look at me. Because even if you're looking at someone hard enough with your eyes, I could probably get from your eye, like what if you're like, oh, and you're crying and her tear jumps out and then it just pl plucks right onto my face and goes into my pores. And then next thing you know, I got tachitis. That person's a liar, so I'm blocking you. You're blocked. How's that feel? Thanks. Jesslyn, Jesslyn said, belly buttons. So you want me to talk about belly buttons? I could talk about this for years. I, 
I'm glad someone finally brought it up. I've been wanting to talk about this for a while, and I feel like no one has been letting me talk about it. And it's time because belly buttons are the worst. <laughs> Literally, it's a hole, which could be fun, but it doesn't even go all the way through. It's a deceitful hole. It's a liar. So you're like, oh, look, a hole, fun. And then you can't even go through it. It's just a dead end. It stops. <laughs> so it's like, what is the point of that? And so also some people don't even get a hole because there's, I've recently found this out. And I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm about to blow your mind. Some people have what's called a outie belly button. Literally protrudes. Goes straight out into the universe. It doesn't even go inside of them. So I only recently found out about this and was very perturbed because I thought everyone's belly button just looks like a freaking belly button where it's like, oh, it's a fun hole. Yay. What? It's not a hole at all. There's a dead end. I can't even do anything with this hole. What's the point? But now I'm finding out that people have them where they go outwards. And to me, I am like, those people must be the elite of society because that means all the skin from the belly button that's going inside of your body is now going outside, which means more room in your tummy. So means it takes longer to get you full, more room for more organs, which means smarter, stronger, braver. <gasps> so I'm kind of jealous of the people who have the Audi belly buttons because I think that's not fair. I think everyone should have one because oh, but the people who don't have the Audis, we have a deceitful hole and nobody likes a deceitful hole. So I am sick of belly buttons and their lies. Um, the only time they have any benefit is when there's something in it. And you find, oh, there's a little bit of lint. Oh, there's a little bit of dirt in there. Oh, what's that black little crumb? I don't know what that is, but, well, it's kind of fun to dig it. Oh, what's stuck in that little crevice of the hole? Oh, my, maybe it's some food or snack. Maybe it's dirt or dust. Who knows? Why is it a little bit wet? I don't know. I couldn't tell you, but I will say that's the only good thing about a belly button. Oh. There's a hair in my throat. Hold on. Oh my gosh. That was terrifying. I can't believe I just caught that on camera. I literally almost just like got on a live practically. I feel like I can feel the hair in my throat. Oh. What the heck was that? It was disgusting. I mean, normally hair is going to be fun. I just don't want it on my sofa gates. Okay, anyway. Next one. Oh, belly buttons. We were talking about belly buttons. Um, yeah, so anyway, belly buttons. The other thing, why do we even have it? What is the point of it? There's so many parts of the body that I'm like, this is useless. Like, hello? What is the freaking point of a belly button? It has no purpose. It's just a deceitful hole to upset you. But, you know, there's a lot of parts of the body that I'm like, what the heck? Why do we even have that? Butt cheeks? Mm, inappropriate, disgusting, perverted, and pointless. <laughs> Why is it sticking out like a little mountain? Um, it's just not good. I don't like that. Um, the lobe of an ear. I think it's just showing off. Like, why are you dangling about? Like, just be connected to my head. Why do you got dangle? Um, so that, you know, there's a few, but the belly button is probably the worst one of them all. All the little creases and crevices inside and doesn't even go all the way through. Um, be a lot more useful if it could go all the way through because then you could go in and be like, poke around in there and you could be like, oh, look, there's my intestines. Oh, there's what I ate for lunch earlier. Or if there's not room or if like you're having a hard time getting something down through the tracks, you're feeling a little stuck, stuck up, constipated or something. You push it, you could put your finger inside there and push it down and then you wouldn't be constipated anymore. So there's like a lot of benefits if the hole went all the way through, but it did not. So this is a design flaw for sure. And I'm not saying it's God's fault. God made us perfect in his image, except for the people who aren't good and so pretty much it's not his fault but somewhere along the way science messed it up probably because science is always the one to be blame and so somehow somewhere someone messed up the belly button I bet with I bet Adam and Eve had holes that went all the way through honestly <laughs> it was probably them honestly because then they, they're eating the fruit forbidden fruit they aren't supposed to eat and then they're, now they're sinners and now we're all freaking getting in trouble because of those brats and so that's probably one of the punishments we got was Belly puts in holes that don't go all the way through. So anyways, I don't want to get too heated. So I guess I should move on. 
Madzi said, how come you're not on YouTube Nepal more? Are you kidding me, Madzi? Are you serious? Literally, you're watching this on YouTube right now, unless you're watching on a different social media, but why would you even comment this? Obviously, I'm posting on YouTube. I'm sick of this sassy brat. I've seen a few people ask questions like this. Look how sassy she looks. She's like, hmm. She's got glasses on and she's like, oh, I'm so smarter than you. I've got glasses. Is that a brat? And she's like smiling. Oh, like literally, are you kidding me? I'm obviously posting on YouTube literally right now. As you're watching this, it's on YouTube. Idiot, I'm blocking you. Um, Okay. Emmy Form 43 Gummies. So, oh, it's a dog. I did not know dogs could type, but here we go. Said, where is JoJo? I don't know. I, I can call her and try to find out. Hi, where are you? I'm on the toilet. You're on the toilet? Yeah. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Okay. Well, hope she has a good wipe. Let's move on to the next question, which is, of course, from Brokeski seventy three. Oh, I heard of Brokeski. She's a um. She like sipped on a kombucha once. I was like, ooh. So she's even commenting on my podcast. Brokeski seventy three. I did not know she was seventy three years old, but I'm also not that surprised. Okay, she says the orange that gets stuck in your nails after peeling the orange. Okay. Um, I have no idea what you're talking about because I would never eat an orange because I'm not disgusting like that. Um, gross. Um, it's the only fruit, honestly, that I can think of that also has a belly button, funny enough. Um, a little navel, if you will. And I think that's gross. Um, I don't trust anything that has a belly button that's not human. And even that I don't even really trust very good. So anyways, orange that gets stuck in your nails. I never got orange stuck in my nails, but I know that after I eat Oreos, sometimes the Oreo crumbs get under and it's like really dark black. And I'm like, whoa, was all that dirt underneath the nails? But then you can just scrape it out with your tooth, like the sharpest tooth you can find, and then you get more snack. So that doesn't really bother me too much. I can still feel that hair on my esophagus. I'm not kidding. Rabbit St. My Ramen said, Balogna, Kasuntite. Jada Savan said, Okay, but for real, Rand is not funny anymore. I like you better as yourself. Jade, who said I was trying to be funny? Did I say this was a comedy show? Did I say, oh my gosh, there's a spider on the lens. What the heck? I'm not kidding. <gasps> I have to film this, you guys. I'm not joking. I'm not playing around. There's a literal spider. Do you guys see this? A literal spider is crawling on my freaking camera. How am I supposed to kill that? I can't whack my freaking camera. It'll break the freaking camera. This is when the spiders get this smart. Wow, that's terrifying. Oh, now it's disappeared? Mm, that's a big Jace. Anyway, like I was saying, Jade Savan, did I say I was trying to be funny? Did I say I was trying to be a comedy? No, I did not. So why are you saying I'm not funny anymore? When I never said I was being funny to begin with. If I want to be funny, I'd be funny. I would tell a joke. This is a show about life about love, about serious issues, about the important issues, about justice, about the topics no one wants to discuss, but I'm brave enough to talk about them. And you're out here sitting here calling it comedy, but not, now the spider's dingling from a web. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? You gotta see this, this is freaking me out. <gasps> it's literally dingling. Look at that little freaking spider, just dingly, dingly dangles from my camera, like on a freaking web. <gasps> what the heck? Okay, anyway, so like I was saying, you like me better as myself? What does that mean? Are you implying I'm not being myself? You're just, I'm implying I'm being fake? I'm not fake, part same. <gasps> I just blew on his web and he went flying away. Should I kill it? I might kill it. I think I'm going to kill it. <gasps> I kill it with my spit. <laughs> Going for good now. Yeah, if I want to be funny, I will be funny. I never said this was a funny show. I never said I'm making a comedy show. I actually never said that. I never said that once a day in my life. So when you make claims like that, um, you sound not very smart. And I'm not trying to be rude. Um, but that's just a fact. Like, for example, if I want to be funny, watch this. Knock, knock. Who's there? Olive. Olive. All of you. Not. <laughs> so, what'd you think about that? 
Knock, knock. Who there? Why did chicken cross the road? To get to the other side of the road. <laughs> See? That's a joke. That's comedy. So not only do I know how to be funny, as I just proven, but I can also make funny faces. Like, for example, like that. Probably laughing your butt off off there, Jade L. Sovin. And but nope, you are claiming not comedian, not funny. Um, well, guess what? I wasn't trying to be funny. So who is the comedian now? Not me. You're the one who's looking funny. So if you're looking for a comedy show, go to the real comedians, like someone like Blippy or something like that. But here we take ourselves seriously and we talk about real issues and real topics. So when you mature, you can come back and watch this. Anyways, next question. Lynn and Anna Frosty for 977 said, can you do a British accent? Yes, easy. Oh, what a spip of the tea. Be cheerio, matey. Oh, look at the Buckingham Palace. I can't even believe Meghan Markle was even here once. Oh, so glad we got rid of that. She was so annoying all the time just being out here and even being wearing dresses and talking. Oh, so annoying of her. God loves the Queen. God loves the Queen. And look at the double decker buses. It's f it's driving down the street. Well, here we go again. I can't believe it. Oh, give it give, give a taxi. Taxi, sir. Do you have a spit of tea? Thank you. How about a high noon breakfast? I like a cucumber sandwich. And oop. What do you think of that, Governor? A love? Oh, Governor. Oh, there's a uh, um, rain and spain says men may on the plan. I could do this for hours, but um, American accent's better, so I'm going to do that instead. Here we go. Niklas said, Oh, I love this. Okay, why are you mad about it then, Niklas? You're so angry that you love it? Mm, grow up. <laughs> Learn how to enjoy life for once. Everyone's always complaining these days, always upset. You're upset that you love my show? Mm, that's kind of weird. Why did that make you mad? I'm going to block you. Oh, my eyes twitching. All right. Well, you know what? I'm sick of um, you guys being brats online, so I don't want to read those anymore. If you want me to answer your question, you can leave a comment below. I'm going to be singing your song suggestions in a minute, but first I want to do my first celebrity interview of the day. Um, you guys are not going to believe it, but this is a new member of the family. Um, I don't know where this thing freaking came from, but um, we have a new pet, and it's a rodent. I do not know what kind of rodent. So part of me wants to interview this rodent because I never seen one like this before and I want to learn more about it and I want to educate the world on this new type of species. But also I was hoping someone out there can tell me what kind of rodent it is because I literally don't know. But I'm going to go get the rodent and I will be right back. Here it is. See, as you can see, it's a skinny little weird looking rodent thing with a big head. And I don't know what kind of rodent this is. No matter how many times I ask, it won't tell me. What kind of rodent are you? See, this little brat just gives me the freaking silent treatment. Um, sick of it. So does anyone know what kind of rodent this is? I'll try to do the interview and see how it goes. Ow, what the heck? Oh, I guess it has claws. It's Hello, and what is your name? Um, okay. And where are you from? Oh, what an interesting place. And how old are you, sir, ma'am, it? So what do you like to eat on a day where you're feeling full? And the best question of them all, um, Team Edward or Team Jacob? Uh, you cannot avoid this question. You have to answer it. Brent, she left. Or he or it. I'm not quite sure. Well, that didn't go well. But if anyone can tell me what kind of rodent that is and maybe how I can get rid of it, um, that would be great. Um, but before I go any further, let's play the let's play the fun little game. The classic game we play here on Miranda Mondays, of course. Watch Miranda sing, sing. All right, let's get to singing, guys. This is the best part of the show. To us, to mess to did us, said, sing about old people. I think this is a great suggestion. Here we go. What's that? Lurking in the corner over there. Could it be? I think it is. It's an old people. Oh no. Old people. Oh, old people, why are they everywhere? Oh, old people, they give me such a scare. Because old people, old people, they keep getting old. 
olden, olden, old people, old people. Why do they keep getting old? Like grow up, stop being so old all the time. It's so annoying when you're old. When you get older, stop getting older. Don't get wrinkles. Don't get older. Anything like that. Just stay young, old people. Hello. Don't get old anymore. Stop being so immature and getting older. Grow up and stay young, you little brats. Oh, what? You can't hear me? Also, you lost your hearing. Good excuse, idiot. Stop losing your hearing. Stop losing your sight. Stop falling over and losing your balance. Stop being old and stop being oh so old. It's so annoying when you're old because when you get older, you shouldn't get. Get old anymore, and that's why I don't like old people. That's my phone. All right, let's move on to the next song. Um, I got a great suggestion to sing about cats. Wow, <laughs> that's what you want me to sing about. Hmm. Well, unfortunately, I have some bad news for you. So listen up. You want me to sing about cats, but no. No, no, I will not do that Because there is something more important we need to discuss And it's the fact that I think that you cannot be trusted Did you think that I wouldn't see That your name just so happens to be The sound that happens sneakily When someone leaks a SBD Silence but deadly Whisper The toot that isn't friendly Whisper It makes no noise and It smells like poison It's disgusting Your mama must have had a bad day When she birthed you and decided to say I think I'm gonna give this baby the sound of a fart for a name. So pff, whisper, stay away from me, or clench those cheeks extra tightly. Cause I don't want my cause of death to be the butt breath you pushed out silently. You should probably change your name, like legally change it, because that is not good. It's kind of embarrassing. I mean, unless you like those silent but deadly ones, but I really honestly would rather the ones that are loud and rambunctious, because then you know it's coming and they get a fun sound. The ones that just are like, or like, those, just rude. Okay, Chloe Sadell said 21 to the strings in bananas. I'd love to sing a song to you about this Chloe but unfortunately I need to sing this song to somebody else not to you <laughs> so. dear Lord I'm feeling so confused right now I'm feeling myself falter and stray farther away from you right now I'm trying to stay strong on the path of righteousness But something you created has got me feeling stressed You did great creating the stars and the moon And all the animals and trees But when you made the banana Why did you give it those gross strings? Lord God, it makes no sense. Why would you do it? Strings belong on yo-yos or on a toy for a cat. <laughs> they were great for making clothing and they were great on Woody's back. But they don't belong on a banana. Why would you do a thing like that? If you really thought bananas needed something extra, why not just give them a hat? Anyways, strings shouldn't be on a banana. There's not a soul on this whole planet that enjoys a string. Was 
this really part of your great plan now? To annoy every woman and a man now By putting as many strings as you can now On every single banana Lord God, thank you for all my many blessings But why did you do this? Listen I know you don't make mistakes So let's just call it a whoopsie daisy Cause putting soggy strings on a banana Kinda makes you look a little crazy And I mean that with the utmost respect for you, Lord Amen so sorry, Chloe. Um, I wanted to just sing a song to you about that, but I felt like it needed to be addressed with someone higher up. Because strings on banana are honestly disgusting and pointless. Bananas in general are kind of pointless and disgusting. But specifically the strings of a bananas, why? Why are they there? Someone riddle me this. God, if you want to give me a sign, this is the time to do it. Why? Why'd you put strings on inside the banana? They're not even good strings. They're not even kind you can really use for anything because they don't stretch. You can't sew with them. You can't even braid them. I've tried. They break apart in two seconds. So it's literally just strings that just rip off and break apart. You can't do anything with. They're useless. You're not going to eat it. And God forbid you're eating a banana in public. Because if you're eating a banana in front of other people and you peel a banana and you're about to take a bite and you're like, well, I'm not going to eat these freaking strings. But what am I supposed to do? Peel them off? in front of all these people, then where do I put the freaking string? On the floor? <laughs> They'll think I'm littering, even though it's probably biodegradable because it's a freaking banana. It looks bad. But I don't want to go find a trash can just for the freaking little strings from the banana. You know what I mean? Anyways, um, maybe we should just outlaw bananas altogether. That would probably be the best option because bananas are just kind of gross and squishy. Um, I do like it when they get more brownish because then one, they attract more bugs, which then I can catch them, and bugs are fun to squinch. Um, and so that would be a good option if only bananas are just more rotten. Because the more older they get, then, you know, they get better. They get better with age, unlike humans, like I mentioned earlier in that first song. Um, I do think it's annoying that old people just keep getting older. It's like, oh, I'll stop it. <laughs> So anyways, thank you for the great song suggestions. If you liked any of these songs, give a thumbs up. Make sure to share it with your friends. And tell me what you want me to sing about this for next time. Because I'm going to be singing lots of songs. So I know I said I'm going to be interviewing lots of celebrities today. And I definitely came through with that one. I got to interview Jojo Siwa, which I heard she's famous somehow. And I interviewed a rare breed of rodent. And I also interviewed by myself by talking. So those are pretty incredible people to interview. But I do know that next week I will be interviewing someone even really more incredible or, um, except for than me, but more incredible than the rodent at least. Hold on, I just got a notification on my phone. <gasps> my Taco Bell just arrived. I'm not even kidding. My Taco Bell literally just got here. Well, they just left it on the porch. Are you serious? Not even going to knock on the door? Like, I don't want them to knock on the door because I hate when people knock on the door and I would literally just hide. But still, like, you're not gonna what my phone didn't give me the notification and then I just don't even know my my talk about something to get soggy <laughs> like are you serious I have to get this hold on <laughs> you guys look I got my freaking talk about <laughs> but look at this <laughs> I got my soda a paper straw <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this it's gonna disintegrate in my mouth <laughs> <laughs> It makes it even taste worse. <gasps> paper straw should be outlawed. I'm sick of a paper straw thing. Like, I love a turtle as much as the next person. But, like, how come turtles get to have all the good straws and we have to stick with paper ones? Like, how come just because turtles like the plastic ones, that means, like, oh, justice for the turtles. Save the turtles. Give them the good ones. And then humans get the paper ones while turtles get to have the plastic ones. Literally doesn't even make sense. I don't understand why we've been doing this. Since when do we all care about turtles more than ourselves when it comes to drinking our beverages? Turtles don't even use straws. Like, I literally never even understood it. Like, why are we saying justice for turtles? Save the turtles. Given, let them have all the plastic straws while we get the gross ones that disintegrate? Ugh. Okay, anyways. I'm going to eat my freaking tacos. There better not be less on them or I'm going to have to sue. Um, I'm in a horrible mood now, so I'm going to cut this show short because 
I don't feel like continuing to talk about anything when I have to deal with a freaking paper straw. And I still can feel that hair in the back of my self again. Leave comments what you want me to talk about next time and who you want me to inter interview. And I'm really upset, so I have to go. <sighs> Maybe this was the sign that God was giving me about when I was asking about the banana strings. He was like, oh, you're going to be jerk to me like that? Child of the Lord? I'll give you a paper straw, see how you like it. You question me making banana strings, I'll give you paper straw. So serve me right. But also serves you right. You shouldn't have made those. Like, literally, not, uh, no offense. Like, I think you're great. But, like, strings on bananas it literally doesn't make sense. Okay. Um. Bye. Oh, shower curtains. Listen to me right now. I don't want you to touch me ever again. No, please don't do it.